in contrast to our regular videos where we dive into a super time consuming journey to make something I've never made before, well between projects I wanted to try and do the opposite and see how well I can make something in a skill set I'm starting to finally get more comfortable with and try and complete a build within a limited small time frame. It's coming up pretty soon, we got a few different food projects. One issue I learned in our past ones, especially with the hot sauce, chicken wings, don't really have a good knife. Pretty sharp, but it's just fat. <laughs> I have daggers. What is the correct way to pronounce that? Daggers. Dagger. 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 Doggers. Little doggies. Anyways, these things, and these are actually for thrusting. They do cut but because they're so fat, it's hard to cut really finely. So my goal for this video is to do a kind of a one day build and try and make a Bronze Age knife that'll help us with some cooking. So I found a reference for a Bronze Age knife online. To start with, I made this little mold. Uh, I don't have a lot of information about it. It's a little bit bigger than that one. So we're gonna cast this in bronze, polish her up, after chop some vegetables. So got it all polished and hafted up and sharpened. Put a wood sealant on the handle using uh, one part beeswax to three part olive oil so it doesn't crack or anything when it's exposed to moisture and should be good to go. Bronze has a few disadvantages of being uh, quicker to dull and will have more bends in it than you would a standard steel knife. That's why we switched to the Iron Age. But it does have the advantage that they didn't realize in the Bronze Age in that uh, the copper in it is actually disinfectant and will kill virus and bacteria. All right, let's try it out and chop some stuff. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching.